In today's Strategy by Design, we are talking about everything that you need to know about Trello cards. So in today's Strategy by Design, we're going to talk about Trello cards. Now, in order to understand where a Trello card lives, you have to understand just a little bit of terminology. So we're looking at right now our Trello board. And within a Trello board, we have several different lists. Your cards live on your list or within your list. So we're going to add a card. All we need to do is to click here at the bottom and say add a card. And now I'm going to just label this one test. And now we're going to click add and so we can get started. To open the card, all you have to do is to click on the card and now we see a whole bunch of information. So everything about test is going to live on this card and we can manipulate it in a lot of different ways. Number one, I can actually come in and I can now change the title of this card. I can add a very quick description. I like to add links and things like that in the description here and now I can click save. Attachments, you can add attachments a couple of different ways. You can either drag and drop or we can select attachment from the dashboard here on the side and we'll get to that in just a second. If you have members on this particular card, all you would want to do is to at mention. And as soon as you at mention, then their little uh, logo will pop up. And then when you click save, they'll get a notification that you've at mentioned them and there's been activity on the card. And then of course here at the bottom, it will show activity. So you see your little avatar and then exactly the action that was taken on this card. So on the right hand side, we see a couple of different dashboards. We have add and we have actions. So we can add members to this particular card. We can add labels. And you saw when I first started today's strategy by design, you saw all of the different various labels. I recommend that you use these sparingly because you can get a lot of detail going on and it can become very confusing. But this is what your labels are. It's really kind of color coding. And if you're a visual person like me, it is really easy to spot things. It's very easy to add a checklist. I recommend checklist for all of your workflows and we'll get into that in another tutorial. And then of course, due dates. I love this option of having a due date um, for cards. So let's say for example, I'm gonna make this due Friday at 12 p.m. Now I'm gonna click save. As soon as I do, the yellow indicates that it is due soon. And if you haven't made your deadline, you haven't finished this card, it will turn red that it's past due. And certainly attachments are very easy. I can select an attachment from my computer. Let's just say I want to add a pretty Pinterest pin here and we'll just add that one. And now we're going to get to see what it looks like. I love it. It's so easy. And now we have a little preview here up top. So that is how we add things to the card. Now I can move this card if I wanted to by selecting move. I could move it to the same board or I can choose a lot of the different boards that I have. I can change this to a different list and then a different position. Typically, I would move this just by list. I will let it be in the position six, which is the last position on that list. And if I need to, I can go over and move that. We're not gonna move this one right now. I can copy this card if I want to. If it's something that I want to do several different times, or if I wanna have it across different lists, I can do that. When I click watch, then I'm gonna get a notification that activity and things are happening now. When I want to be done with this card, there are two ways that you can do that. Number one is to archive. So we're going to click there. And now this particular card has been archived. If I want to completely get rid of it and never be able to find it again, I can select delete. All right. So I hope that this information was helpful for you on all of the different things that you can do with cards. I always start all of my clients off with this particular board, and that's the week at a glance opt-in. All you have to do is go to businessplanofaction.com forward slash Trello.